welcome to iLoad Stocks. I want to talk a little bit about my challenge account that I started two weeks back. And I also want to discuss a little bit about Lulu. I think we're at a buying place here on Lulu. And first we're going to go ahead and talk about the challenge account. I started a challenge account two weeks ago at $1,000. And I'm wanting to build it up. I want to buy me a cyber truck with this or a good down payment on a little condo in Hawaii on the big island. So that's my goal by the end of the year is to get this up to a hundred grand if I'm able. But right now I started with 1000 and we're going to go ahead and look at that little challenge. Right now it's at $1,754.15. I was down on it quite a bit last week on a couple bad trades that I made. One was Netflix and the other was Facebook. I did get out of Facebook with a profit, then I got stupid and got back in the trade, knowing that there was a bunch of lawsuits out against it. I thought I could get in another scalp. Instead, it just took me down. I finally took the loss, and I was down like 400 bucks in the account, and then I got back in it, and I raised it back up to $1,754.15 this week, and I think I end up with a couple hundred dollars profit through the week, but... Right now, I'm up, seven, like I said, 754 and 15 in two weeks. But this is my fifth challenge that I have done, and every one of them has been a success. It's not easy when you start small, especially when you're under, and I'm using the PDT rule to improve my swinging capabilities. I'm a scalper. I'm a technical trader. I'm a day trader, and I swing no longer than five days at a time. If I don't feel good, I get out of the trade and wait for the pullback and get back in it. My slogan is buy at support, sell at resistance, and that's worked real well for me. I identify chart patterns, candlestick patterns, and I definitely follow the money and the flow of the money. I'm a tape reader, and I like reading at level two, and I play off the news. I'm a, Like I said, I'm a technical trader that likes to play off news only. And if there's no news, it's a scalp. If there is news, I can swing it, or I can run it up a couple days, or I can go ahead and take the day trade out of the out of the stock. So that's kind of how I trade. I trade with the money flow. I trade with the. I pay more attention to the technical parts of it because I'd rather buy in at support and sell at resistance. And let's go ahead and get right into Lulu. Check it out. Everybody knows about Lulu, which has had a great run from 111 bucks when we called it out about three years ago. It ran all the way to 400. I think COVID might have had a little game changer in it because people can buy online, get it to them pretty fast and pretty simple. It's still the in-store experience is always good, but uh, Lulu is more of a top-end kind of clothing line, and people with money will go ahead and buy them. You know, I, I sit here and trade with sweatpants. I think this coming year I'm going to buy me four or five pairs of these Lulus that I can work in and also sit here and day trade in. I like to be comfortable when I'm day trading. I take my shoes off. You know, I have me a cup of coffee. I'm relaxed, and that's what I like about Lulu. They're a relaxed fit. In fact, these are the jeans that I'm looking at right now that I might want to get. Uh, it's a relaxed pair of pair. And it just seems like that to be the perfect fit for me. The only issue I have right now is, is the you know, I'm, I'm used to wearing bell bottoms. This is me back in 1976 when I had those big old fat bell bottoms. They, they went out like 12 inches, if everybody remembers. Levi's had them out. I wish I still had my, my bell bottom jeans. I was getting ready to go to a party right here. I think I might have been doing something that I shouldn't have been doing in that chair. Who knows? But this was back in 1976, and I was just got my driver's license, and I was ready to grow up and to be a man. I never thought I would day trade stocks until probably about 1981 when I worked at Walmart. I come from a very poor family, and we struggled real hard. But I always had a goal in mind that one day that I could drive that big Cadillac, and here I am today. So let's go ahead and talk, talk about the chart itself. I noticed Lulu, and we're going to go ahead and on the pullback. It, oh, Lulu. 
Lulu had excellent earnings. Let me pull this up and show you. This is another thing that kind of got me going. Lulu beats third quarter earnings and revenue estimates. Lululemon came out with a quarterly earnings of $1.16 per share, beating Zach's consistent estimates of $0.87 per share. That compares the earnings of $0.96 cents per share a year ago. So that's, that's pretty good. These figures are adjusted in non-recurring items. The quarterly report rep, uh, represents the earnings surprise of 33% a quarter ago. It was expected with the athletic apparel maker who cost... 56 per share when it was actually produced of 74 delivering a purpose of 32 percent over the last four quarters the company has surpassed consensus earnings per share estimates three times so you know that's pretty good to me lululemon which belongs to zach's textile apparel industry posted a revenue of 1.12 billion in the quarter ended of 2020 october 2020 surpassing Zach's consistent estimates by 10%. This compares a year ago of revenue of $916 million, and the company has topped consensus revenues estimates three times over the last four quarters. Bingo on Lulu. So that gives me a bullish signal that I want to still play Lulu. Now if you look at the yearly chart, let's pull this up. We had that big crash back during the COVID crisis where everything pulled back. Then we had a nice little hammer here on the, uh, on the um, I'll go ahead and pull this up here. This little hammer right here was the buy signal. We had a little sloping, uh, we had a green light right here with the spinning top, still a little bit bearish, but once we got that hammer and we broke out of that resistance level, it was a buy all the way from the rest of the year. And that was just in four or five days, you could tell that. And I was watching the stock as it come down and I did trade it. But I didn't hold on to it. Big mistake. But for right now, this is my golden cross right here. It was the buy signal to get in the trade. It's when the 50 crosses over the 200. This is a yes MA. I noticed right now, if we pull this up, magnify it up to the full thing, that we did pull back to that 50 SMA. And we also bounced up off this trend line. This trend line is a pullback method that I use. It's pretty simple. It's pretty fresh. The only line you see that I put in here was this one right here. But we did pull back and hit that 50 SMA, and I do expect a retracement bounce back up. Maybe to a resistance level to break here right around. Let me change this thing up here. I think we can get back easily back up to this 352 level. And then she'll make a little bit of decision making when she wants to go ahead and break. And the next resistance will be 358. And then we'll try to get back to the top of this engulfing candle right here at 366.43. Now this is a daily candle. So that's how much we pulled back in a day. I'm going to pull up the day's chart just to have a good look at it. But I think we are setting up for a reversal play. So the first resistance I think we need to break. I'm going to adjust this to right here. Actually, it could be right here, but I want to raise it. Well, it could be right here. Let's make a little, let's make a force field here. 347 to 347.93. 347.13 to 347.93 will be the first resistance channel on Lulu. Now, if this thing dips anymore, it's going to be a strong buy to me, especially if it drops below this trend line right here at 340.63. I'm going to be looking at it very strongly. And I do want to run it up to this 351.34 area. And to make it clear, there's going to be a little resistance channel. And I'm going to put that right in here at 353. I need to go up here and change this. The method that I use in trading is called the extended trend line method. I've used this for over many years. And I can go back two or three years and still use the same trend lines. Not too many traders trade like I do. But I try to make it simple. I rely more on my trend lines than any other uh, indicator that I have. And when I'm day trading, I like to go ahead and use my moving averages. And I have two different ones. I use the EMAs and the SMAs. 
But for right now, we've got to get up into this resistance channel. We've got two resistance channels to break. 347.13 to 347.93 with a long hard resistance up here at 351.34 353.25 I think we can consolidate sideways for a little bit and then start breaking up into the new third resistance channel and that's going to be right up in here I'm going to put that trend line right there and then I'm going to color it in so I have three resistance channels that I want to play off of to, for the next couple of weeks this will be a swing trade for me if I get in it below my extended trend line right down here off 342 somewhere around this area right in here this 340 area if I can get in the trade there I'll run it up swing it long into these next three resistances and maybe scaling out a few of them and playing the dips I recognize the dips when they come I get out of the trade I get in on the pullback and then I run it back up so that's it for Lulu. I like it a lot. Remember my Washboard Gems Challenge is up $750 in two weeks. I want to take this to hundred grand so I can get me a good down payment on the big island in Hawaii. Always remember, I love stocks. Please follow us on Twitter. Miss Vegas is posting alerts in here. She's the money flow queen. She'll post stock alerts in here and she'll follow mine and and I also have a channel. If you want to follow me, it's called I Love Stocks at James Howard 18. You can follow my alerts in here. I post a lot of alerts in here. I kind of switch them over from from uh, oh shoot, I switch them over from uh, Stock Twits. Here on the link, you can go to our Stock Twits account. Follow us on Stock Twits. And we also post alerts in there too. Miss Vegas has her account right here. You can follow her under Vegas1. Hit that follow button. And she's posting alerts in here too. Disney had a heck of a day yesterday. If you all watched, we called that out in the room. It was We played a couple lottos on it. And I don't think I would have held it on a breakout like that. Because that was just too much. I'm surprised that it's gone up as high as it has. But investors like it. And it's following the money. Always remember, I love stocks.